It is summer. It is humid. I am sitting outside as a lung disabled person and I'm actually able to breathe and it's all because of this 90 day wild fit challenge that we did. So I thought I would do a really fun little vlog for you today and just share um, what happened, what it was like for us to do the wild fit challenge and also what life was like before the challenge and what kind of results we've had because I know a lot of people think of wild fit and they just think of it as like a weight loss program. It's actually not a weight loss program. <laughs> it's a health program that just also happens to be like the most effective weight loss program there is. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just about learning how to go back to the original human diet and let our bodies heal. So I'm really excited. I'm just sitting outside enjoying the fact that I can actually sit outside in the summer when it's humid and breathe. Oh, and another really cool thing is that I can walk now without my poles, without my walking poles. And that that excites me so much. It gives me so much freedom. So anyway, I'm just going to take you with me today um, because there are so many things that have happened and so many changes that have happened that I cannot possibly remember them all right now. So as I remember them, I'm going to share them with you. I decided I wanted to walk without my poles, see, new poles, <laughs> to show you that I can walk now without my poles, which is super exciting. And as you'll notice, I <laughs> now have different clothes on because in my excitement to stand up and show you how I can walk without my poles now, which is really exciting, I forgot to pay attention to the fact that there were three steps to go down from our porch and I only walked down two and then I rolled my ankle down the third one. So not the best. I don't know if the walking poles would have helped with that, <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was really funny, so I had to share that. This is something that we actually did before the Wild Fit Challenge, but now we do it a little differently. It's called an Alkagizer, and I swear it's called an Alkagizer because Eric Edmeets did not explain why he calls these Alkagizers. I personally think it's because it alkalizes your body and it energizes you, you know, like the Energizer Bunny. So that's my my version of why it's called an Alkagizer. We just call it a green smoothie and I literally throw anything in here that is in the, the spring season. So the reason we do Alkagizers, it's kind of like a little food hack, I guess, or a nutrition hack. In order to stay healthy, we need to have a ton of vegetables, which I'm sure you probably know, right? But it can also be really hard to eat a ton of vegetables. So by putting them all into these green smoothies, you can actually get a ton of vegetables into your system really easy. And if you, <laughs> this is a really good tip that my wife especially takes um, heed with. Make it really, really cold and then it's really easy to drink. So here are the finished Alkagizers. Sorry, I know it's a little bit dark there. Da -da. And we like to make, uh, well, I, I like to make it in batches. And then every morning we have a cup of Alkagizer for our breakfast. So here are all of our Alkagizers ready for the week. So that's really good. It changes from week to week, just whatever's what in season, whatever happens to be on sale. Um, but there are some basic foundational vegetables that I put in the Alkagizer and you can see those in that video over here. <laughs> While I'm resting I thought I would just um, share a couple of the different changes that have happened for myself and for Cindy, my wife, and also for my daughter Xanthi and my son Quinn because it's, it's mind-blowing to think that this has all changed in just three months. And it's really nice because the way that Eric Edmeets, he's the guy who created Wild Fit, and we did the program through Mind Valley that I'm a student of. It's it's like an online university of of life skills in like every area of your life. But anyway, he set it up in a way so that every week we'd have a new what's called enhancement. Some weeks you don't consider them an enhancement kind of consider them a takeaway, but that's okay. It's really cool because it's it's all education based. It's just learning about the food industry. It's learning about what our bodies actually need to be healthy and strong. And I got a chance to speak with Eric and to thank him personally. And I'm so grateful for that because he literally gave me my life back. And so I just wanted to share a few things. So I lost 15 pounds in the in the three months that we did the challenge, the 90 day challenge, um, which I was thrilled about because that's just less 
less of me that my body has to deal with, if that makes sense. So it gave me back a ton of energy. Do you know in the afternoon when like around three o'clock, four o'clock hits and you just totally, your energy just tanks, right? You get really tired. Quite often people then need a cup of coffee or you desire something sweet because you just want to fill up the reserve of your energy because you just feel like you could go lay down and have a nap. Are you with me? If you're with me, give me a lot of thumbs up, right? And write in the comments, totally. <laughs> but um, what I found is by being on this and switching my pancreas from burning um, sugar using insulin to switching to burning fat gave me so much energy that at four o'clock in the afternoon, I still have, a, it's actually past four o'clock right now. I have all this energy and I love that. And my mind stays sharp. And I really appreciate that because I get a lot more work done and I'm not as exhausted at the end of the day. And so I lost 15 pounds, yay, which is awesome. But it's kind of a, a bonus side benefit of the Wild Fit program. I really, my focus was on healing and I had been wanting to do this Wild Fit challenge for a couple of years. And then this year, another free masterclass came up because Eric Ed meets every year with Mind Valley and the owner of Mind Valley, Vision Lakiani. They do this free masterclass and Eric always shares tips that you can use right away regardless of whether you do his challenge or not and so I said to my daughter because she was really suffering from stomach pains and we've been going to doctors for a couple of years trying to figure it out and I said well why don't we just watch the, the wild fit challenge or rather the, the masterclass and see what new tips um, Eric is going to share with us because they always are amazing and so we watched it and my daughter said I really want to do the challenge and, and do this together. And I thought, you know what? Maybe it's just a sign that it's time. You know, how how can I not want to heal my daughter? And uh, so we, we decided to do it as a family. We did the challenge as a family. Now, my daughter lost five pounds. But the really cool thing is her stomach pains disappeared. Like this girl has gone through a lot. She's gone through endoscopies and um, colonoscopies and all kinds of, you know, scans and things. And we could never figure out what was wrong with her stomach, why it hurt so much all the time. And it wasn't an ulcer. It wasn't all these other things that we were thinking of. And just by changing our food, just by learning how humans are actually supposed to eat, it's gone away and she doesn't deal with the acid reflux anymore and she's very aware, very cognizant of what each food does now. So she has a lot more control. She's much happier, which is really nice. I'm much happier because seeing your child in pain is awful. Um, my son, he actually lost like 30 pounds, but he's, he's really, really healthy and his muscle tone is amazing. They're so healthy. It's amazing. My wife, though, she had the biggest change. She actually lost like 45 pounds, and that has had a huge positive impact on her health. She suffered from a lot of um, problems with her intestines, and she actually had to have a part of it removed a few years ago. And um, uh, she suffered from diverticulitis, which are like little holes in your intestines. And that was why we had to remove part of it, which was really scary, really scary at the time. And so she's had to avoid things like seeds and corn and anything that could get stuck in the little holes. And now she can actually, as long as she chews it up really fine, she can eat those things. She doesn't have any problems. Um, she suffered a lot from really, really itchy skin all the time. It was... It, if you've ever had it, it's debilitating, and that has subsided so, so much, and her energy levels, just all of us were so much happier. I just never realized how much our food affects our mental state. We noticed that just, we are just happier, we have more energy, and I'm just so grateful. Anyway, I wanted to share a few of those things with you. Oh, one of the things that I would mentioned earlier in my coma videos, what it's like to be in a coma, I would be able to see in my nails every time that my oxygen would get really low. My oxygen levels are so good now. They're like 97, 98, 99. Like they're really, really good. Um, oh, my wife also noticed, so her resting heart rate, which would be above 80 normally, is now down to like around mid 60s, 60s, which is so amazing. You know, it's, it's taking so much pressure off of her heart. And um, yeah, it's just, it's made a huge difference. My mom, my mom actually started doing this too. And 
My poor mom, she's suffered from psoriasis since she was a teenager. And she always had to have bangs to cover it all. And she started doing the program. And she can wear her hair back now. It's like it's all gone. It's just incredible. Oh, yes. And also blood pressure. Blood pressure has gone down. Like, it's just incredible. So, you know, she got rid of her psoriasis and her blood pressure went down so much. She actually had to readjust her medicine because her medicine was making her blood pressure go too low. So it's just incredible that something so simple could have such a drastic effect. And we were always healthy. You know, we always ate healthy anyway, or we thought we did. But there is so much that we didn't realize companies had made as a norm in our society and it wasn't actually for our health it was just so they could sell more products and oh it's just it's scary to think what it's done but I just want everybody to to get a chance to know about wild fit because it's literally given me back my life. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the description below, or if you just head over to amandavandergulick.com and then forward slash wild fit, then you can also join the free masterclass. I think Eric Edmeads is doing a new one with Fish and Lakiani in a couple of weeks. So go and sign up for that. It is free. It'll be like a 45 minute training. And he gives some really amazing tips right during the masterclass that you just use whether or not you decide to go on the challenge. When you are able to go on the challenge, do it. It will absolutely change your life. I am so grateful and I am so honored that I actually got to speak to him. It wasn't even to do with WildFit. I was doing another business thing with him. And I got to speak to him and I got to tell him, you know, as somebody who suffered in a coma back in 2016 and who has to, you know, has had to learn how to live to be a disabled lung patient. And like simple things like I would only be able to shower or have a bath once a week because it took so much energy and so much clearing of my lungs after the humidity of a shower or a bath, I would be knocked out for days. And now if I wanted to, I could literally take a shower every day, which is just amazing. It's given me back so much. And I just wanted to share that with you. Anyway, I'm going to head out and I'll talk to you guys later. As soon as I came running up the stairs and I turned to my computer and I sat down and I did a couple of things still, even before I sat down. And then I sat down and it, I, it dawned on me, I thought, I couldn't do that before. Another really, really, really wonderful thing is that I can now help with the cooking. I can help with preparing. I have even stood at the stove quite a few times now and I have fried things and or the oven has been on. Like all of those things, we always had to close the living room door to the kitchen because I couldn't breathe. Anything that would go in the air would cause my lungs to to close up and I couldn't breathe. And so now it's it's so liberating to be able to actually cook for my family again. Mwah! Here's to you, you watching right there, getting healthy and strong and regaining your own life back. I'm so excited for you. Really, really, really cool thing is that wrinkles. My skin started to lose wrinkles and I smile a lot, so I had a lot of the crow's feet. Another really cool thing is on my arm, I have this cyst. Um, I'm prone to getting a lot of cysts, or I was prone to getting a lot of cysts. And I've had some removed. Like you can see, I've got a scar here from some remove. I have scars on my on my wrist there. I've had them removed in the past. And it was getting quite big. It was about an inch long and probably about a, a centimeter thick. Like I can I can feel it, right? And suddenly I remembered, oh yeah, that bump, that that cyst on my arm. So I went and I moved over and I I, I felt it. And I was shocked because it was half the size that it had been and it was about half the thickness. And I was like, no, this is impossible, <laughs> right? And so I started monitoring it and it has now gone down to about a quarter of the of the two inches. So it's like down to like half an inch and, and it's like really thin now too. So it's been really exciting to watch those changes. Like it's amazing that this is all happening and... I just really want to share my experiences with you because this is life altering. You know, I think the reason that the Wild Fit Challenge worked so well is because it worked on our psychology, like our food psychology, but also just our own self-belief. We learned how to notice what our bodies were doing. And so now that like we're, we're done the, the 90 Day Wild Fit Challenge, 
but now we're doing what is called living wild fit, which means the principles that we learned, we're still practicing those. And that means something to us because we learned how to eat seasonally. It's just that we need to know how our body works and how to trigger from sugar burning to fat burning so that we can then remove that fat once that season has passed. And the really cool thing is once you train your body how to burn fat, it's actually really easy to get back into fat burning mode. And that's amazing. That's another really cool thing that I learned is that it's not your fault if you're overweight. It really is not because your DNA has been telling you, you have to store fat because winter is coming. And this can be triggered by stress. When you're under stress, your body understands it not as an emotional stress. It thinks, oh my gosh, my body is stressed. I need to pile on weight to protect myself for this winter that's coming. And so anyway, you're gonna learn all of this stuff and so much more in Eric's masterclass. I'm really excited. Do go and check that out. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog today. I just, I thought I wanted to share this because it has made a big difference and I just really want to make this positive difference in your, in your health and in your life and in your loved one's health. So I really hope that helps. Again, you can watch the masterclass for free through my link, which is amandavandergulick.com forward slash wild fit. And I'll leave a link in the description for you. Go check it out. If you enjoy it, if you get some really good takeaways from it, will you come back to my video and leave a comment for me below? I'd love to know what your biggest takeaway is. And also let me know what is your biggest challenge with your health right now? What do you want to overcome? After you go check out the masterclass from Eric Ed Meads again from Wild Fit from Mind Valley, then here is a video I think you'll really enjoy. We started with all fruit because Cindy didn't like vegetables at all. <laughs> and now we do just vegetables and she's perfectly fine with it. I'll see you in here. Bye.